Sonia Sotomayor uh, is appointed to the U.S. Supreme Court, and supposedly a page has been turned. Um, I'm not going to comment on uh, American internal politics. The whole thing is none of my business, and it doesn't really interest me a great deal what her political convictions are or how Americans uh, manage their, uh, their country's affairs are ultimately none of my business, and I'm not going to say anything about that. What I would like to actually comment on, however, is uh, the idea that uh, she is the first Hispanic um, member of the Supreme Court. Now, the reason why I, I'm, I'm interested in that rhetorical question is, what exactly does it mean to be a Hispanic? Um, this is a question that interests me in, 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 on a number of levels. While it's true that uh, that that, that ethnic group that refer to itself or see itself as Hispanics in the United States may actually exist in the minds of its adherents. Uh, certainly plenty of Latin American people um, are quite comfortable with being called Latinos or Hispanics or whatever. Um, but really, uh, do we really know what that term actually means? Um, Throughout Latin America, one thing you notice is the enormous differences in cultures and even race between the different countries. Um, Mexico uh, and Colombia, Chile, uh, are generally um, populated by a mixture of Aboriginal American people and Europeans. Uh, Brazil uh, has a very large number of African people and mulatto, uh, as do, does, uh, say, for instance, Cuba, uh, the Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, and Venezuela. Uh, and these countries are quite different from each other in 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 many ways uh, portugal speaks uh, uh, sorry uh, brazil speaks portuguese um uh, and, and not only that there are other countries such as uruguay or um or uh, argentina where the majority of people are full-blooded europeans and then there are another group where uh, the majority of the people are actually autochthonous uh, aboriginal uh, american people say Bolivia, uh, Paraguay, uh, Peru, Ecuador, and a lot of the Latin American countries, uh, sorry, Central American countries. So, really, what does it mean to be a Latino? Um, one could be a full-blooded European and be a Latino. One could be a full-blooded um, African and be a Latino. One can be a full-blooded Aboriginal American and be a Latino. Um, so racially, the, the term is essentially meaningless, uh, and on, a, on another level, i.e. the different nationalisms in Latin America that often collide, um, I've been to Colombia a couple of times, and I know that they really have no time at all for Venezuelans, especially not their president, um, and uh, uh, by the same token, Chileans and Argentinians have a traditional smoldering rivalry with each other. Um, and they're all fiercely proud of their own countries, and they, they, they have a very powerful sense of their distinctness from each other. Even within Latin American countries, it's not as unified as one might think. Look at Sotomayor. She wouldn't look out of place in the streets of Lisbon or Madrid or Rome or Athens, for that matter. Um, whereas, uh, if you look at the majority of uh, people, say, in Brazil or Venezuela, they tend to have a lot more African blood in them than she does, obviously. Um, if you look at the, the, the heads of state of most Latin American countries, they have a distinctly European look to them. Um, and if you look at the people that live in the uh, barrios or the favelas or the marginal neighborhoods in most Latin American countries, uh, they have a distinctly non-European look about them. So uh, your, uh, Latin American society is racially categorized just as much, or if not more, than American society is, or Western society in general. So I honestly don't really think that the term Latino means anything, and it, it, this is an interesting um, thing to look at when, when discussing things like the changing demographics of uh, North America, because Canada has a large number of quote unquote Latino uh, uh, people as well, they're seen a little bit differently. They are they do they are tend uh, tended to be seen as people who are actually say a, a Chilean is not generally mistaken for a uh, uh, Puerto Rican who is not generally mistaken for a Peruvian. They the in in Canadians' minds they these are still distinct people, but in in the states they tend to get lumped together as Hispanics. Um, 
Because w w if you're talking about changing demographics or changing racial realities, cultural, ethnic realities, one assumes that this group, which is becoming more and more prominent, actually exists as such, actually exists as a definitive group. Well, racially, Latin Americans don't exist as a definable group. Linguistically, they don't. Um, maybe they're all Roman Catholics, but isn't Roman Catholicism a Western European religion? Isn't the language that they speak Spanish or Portuguese um, European languages? Which makes me question exactly how foreign or other or alien they actually are. Um, what is it that makes them distinct from Americans or white Americans, really? Uh, really, if, if, uh, if uh, uh, Edward James Olmos is not a mainstream American, then neither is Al Pacino. Uh, so, what's the difference between the two? What is this this uh, Hispanism that actually exists, or people think it exists? Um, I would say that it doesn't really exist, other than in our own minds. And of course, race in general could uh, be said to fit that category. Um, so I think that, that um, people should examine this when they sort of say that Latinos or, or Hispanics are becoming more and more prominent in North American society. Um, because, well, what exactly is a Latino? What exactly is a, a, a Latin American or a, or a Hispanic? Um, again, if they're other than the rest of us, if they're somehow foreign or whatever, um, well, <laughs> then so are we all, because the Spanish part of their character is European, just like us, and the majority of non-white Latinos are in that category because of Aboriginal blood. Well, okay, Aboriginal blood, uh, the Aboriginals were here even before the Europeans were, so how could we possibly call these people aliens? Um, so it, it's something that I think that, that this whole idea of, of, um, of Hispanics and their increasing prominence in our culture, in our society, and in our political systems, even in Canada, is more an, uh, an illustration of our own um, preconceptions of what it actually means uh, to be ourselves, to be, our, uh, i.e., us mainstream non-Latino North Americans, than it actually does about the people that we call Latinos uh, themselves. They're not a definable group, and they're not really as alien as we, we think that they are. Or if they are alien, then so are a heck of a lot of the rest of us. Thank you.